Good Monday evening, everybody. Live and direct from House Onik, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime from the Backyard. A little breezy out here Monday, my first day off in a while, and getting a lot of sunshine out across the Mid-South. We did manage to tie a record high temperature today, very much on the warm side out there. 85 was the last that I heard from Memphis International Airport. It's a good possibility we may have broken that at some point in time this afternoon. We'll let you know a little bit more about that as we go along. Plenty of sunshine today, more clouds on our way as we get into the course of the rest of the next couple days. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. As of right now, not really too much of anything to worry about in the way of heading home at just about 6 o'clock on Monday evening. The traffic around Germantown Parkway on the far right-hand side of your screen, a little bit of a problem. Also some slowdowns between, it looks like, Lamar, Getwell, Perkins, and Mount Moriah, and then also down into around the area of close to around uh, uh, I-22 this evening. We do have, again, some scattered areas of slowdown showing up around Tuggle Road and down to around Olive Branch. Beyond that, there's really not that much going on uh, at this point in time, so definitely good news on that for right now. We do have a good-sized storm system sitting north of us, a lot of energy going across the Great Lakes. I'm going to be seeing more of that passing just mainly back to our north. Here in the Mid-South, things are quiet and dry for right now, but more chances of some storms coming our way as we get into the next couple of days. Speaking of which, we actually do have some thunderstorms on radar just around West Kentucky, up around Murray, south of Paducah, and moving mainly on down toward the south and to the east. I'm going to continue that direction throughout the rest of the evening. No severe weather in the Mid-South area, but we are going to be watching that uh, with a lot of interest. It's fairly isolated at this time. We don't have a lot going on where it comes to severe weather and doesn't look like anything the way of major amounts of weather either. As you can see from the visible satellite picture, clouds are very isolated across portions of Kentucky and into the mid-Ohio and down toward the mid-Mississippi Valley. Just a couple of clusters of thunderstorms and that's about all that we have in the way of major problems at this time. Water vapor shows that things are relatively dry, so those big bright blue and green and purple colors where those thunderstorms are located, that is showing again the extent of the moisture. It's surrounded by very dry air so there's not a lot out there that's going to be making things uh, too much of any better where it comes to more thunderstorms. But could be some more isolated activity from time to time out there. Uh, looks like the weather map is having some trouble here. I should have renewed before I started, but go to our interactive radar page at wreg.com slash weather. Got a storm system just north of us around I-70 between around Chicago and down toward Dodge City, Kansas. That's going to be making its way down across the portions of the Mid-South as we get into the next couple of days, and that is going to be responsible for the development of more of these thunderstorms out there. Now, through the course of the rest of what we're looking for for right now is going to be, again, the possibility of some activity coming through in the form of thunderstorms. Again, that's going to be mainly into around tomorrow night. So if you have any plans for, again, getting through the next couple of days relatively dry, Excuse me for a second, I seem to have lost my maps once again. There we go. As of right now, again, things are decently quiet and should remain that way for this evening, but that, again, may be a, a different story as we get into the course of the next couple of days as that front continues to make its way a little bit closer to us. Now, directly and immediately in the Mid-South, we have nothing going on. It's too warm for any frost advisories. We don't have any uh, heat advisories taking place just yet, even though the temperatures went way above normal into the mid-80s today. We'll be looking for more possibilities of some warmer weather, of course, over the next several days. The main thing we're going to be looking at for right now is going to be the possibility of stronger weather. We see, again, the possibility of severe weather with the storm system late tomorrow night into around Wednesday. This is where we see, again, the possibility of maybe some large hail and damaging winds. Also, look at that yellow box that you see uh, over there on the far right-hand side of your screen. That also says that there is going to be a possibility of more severe weather late this coming Friday into around Saturday. So that, again, could be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities, especially the weather getting nicer, a lot more people uh, getting out and about. So something to think about there. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. So what specifically are we looking at for right now? Well, for tonight, there really isn't that much going on. The light green, this from the uh, College of DuPage Severe Weather Center and information they provide, thank you very much on that, showing the light green category, not that much happening. The possible 
possibility of stronger thunderstorms in Indiana and back down to around southwest Ohio, northwestern parts of Kentucky. The big problem that we have here in the Mid-South area is going to be this. We see the possibility of some more thunderstorms into tomorrow night and especially into around most of it should be going way back over to the east of us. So Middle Tennessee, North Alabama, Northwest Georgia, and southeastern areas of Tennessee, that will be seeing the main problem. We will catch a glancing blow from this. This is an increased risk of severe weather from what we saw just a few days ago. So this is still developing and will still be a bit of a problem. And it looks like most of the activity should be north of the metro area. So that means Ripley, Dyersburg, Tennessee, Blytheville, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Steele, and Kennett, Missouri. That's where you're going to be seeing more problems than anything else. And again, this forecast from what you see here, this will change one way or the other. So you really got to stay updated with this with News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on. Now, beyond that, over the next several days, we don't have a lot going on. The four to eight day forecast does show a threat making its way through the area around Friday into Saturday. We don't have a way of stopping that map with this uh, format that we've got here, but basically what this means is right about there on day five and there on day six, that's where we see again the possibility of thunderstorms late Friday night into early on Saturday. That's where we could see again uh, the possibility of major problems. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures have been exceptionally nice out there and no problems whatsoever where it comes to anything involving the temperatures, that's for sure. But as of right now, again, things have been uh, quite very quiet and will remain that way throughout the rest of the evening. And we'll have more on that continuing over the course of the next couple of days. When is this expected to hit? Again, the meteograms that the National Weather Service puts out, starting the, with the green bars, that's the expectation of showers and just plain rainfall. The red bars that you see a little bit closer over here, that's the possibility of thunderstorms. And it looks like it's going to be around sunset tomorrow through News Channel 3 at 10, through midnight, right on in through about 7 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday morning. So that's where we're going to be seeing in that possibility of stronger weather. It's not a huge risk, but it does need to be monitored, and that means you need to keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that potential as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So for tonight, very mild, no problem at all. Forgot to mention the forecast information right there in the blue bar and social media stuff if you want to find me there or also in the uh, icons that you see above the screen up there so you can find out what's going on as we post forecasts, sign Science, weather, geekery, astronomy, all kinds of great stuff going on out there from the rest of the Mid-South. And tune in for all kinds of neat things, and we'll keep you advised. That'll wrap it up for this edition of Monday Evening's Weather Overtime from the House Onic Backyard, and rather a little bit on the warm side out here. Of course, I probably shouldn't have been wearing a dark shirt in full sunshine with temperatures back in the 80s. We'll continue to monitor for the possibility of severe weather into tomorrow. Jim and Tim will have your forecast tonight. Todd Demers will have your forecast coming up bright and early on Tuesday morning. And, of course, I'll be monitoring here and throughout the rest of the Mid-South, keeping you updated with what's going on with weather in the area. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online. And thank you very much for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.